Hello my little angel faces, welcome back to my channel. So today is the day, finally, that I am doing my Sweet Peach collection with Too Faced. Here's my fridge, like, had to put the fridge in the background because it's too cute not to. Basically I did this whole look using the Sweet Peach collection from Too Faced. So if you want to see how we get this whole look and if you want to see the collection, then keep watching. So I've already primed, um, moisturized my skin. I used this, the Ordinary Caffeine Solution Eye Cream. So it's like a little dropper. And the Tatcha, the Water Cream Foundation, which I love. So I've been using this for about two weeks now and my skin feels so good. Don't mind this part. This is, I was sick last week and I wasn't eating very good food. So it came out here in my skin. So just like ignore that bit. The rest of my skin is so good, it feels really hydrated from using it. I am going to do a skincare routine. I just don't want to do a skincare routine when my skin's broken out because people will be like, yeah, I'm fucking not going to use what you're using. So I'm just going to let this kind of die down and settle down and get this back to normal and then I promise I will film a skincare routine. So we're going to start off with the primer. This is the Cooling Matte, Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I'm not going to put a lot of this on because my skin's dry so I don't want to I don't want to mattify my skin too much so I'm just going to put a light layer of that on. So I'm going to use the foundation so it's oil free 14 hour wear oil controlling photo friendly so it doesn't give you a flashback and um, I have worn this a good few times and really like it even though it is like oil controlling and it is a matte it's a comfortable matte on the skin. Like I'm all about dewy skin, you know that. But this is more of a of a comfortable, wearable matte. So yeah, I actually do really, really, really like it. If you want the coverage, you use a brush. Um, the first time I used it with a beauty blender and I got, it was really sheer. Um, so if you like really sheer, go with that one. But definitely if you want um, a medium to a fuller coverage, use a brush first anyway to put it on let's just do it and i'm talking or else i'll talk too much so yeah i feel like this way it gives you much more coverage like i get like a full coverage from this but i feel like you could put it on with the brush and then if you are a person who likes to apply their foundation with a beauty blender you can always go over this then with the beauty blender to kind of melt it in but uh yeah this for me is perfect the color i'm wearing is nude warm nude it's the same color that i wear in um born this way it smells so good when you put it on and it's not like overly sweet you know sometimes like some products can smell like overly sweet this just smells like nice it's not sickening it's just that really nice soft aroma so you can still see it's not like really, really, really matte. It's like a comfortable matte. Like, if it was a lipstick, it would be a creamy matte. Let's just say that. That's probably the only way I can describe it. I'm going to conceal now. I'm just going to keep everything Too Faced, so it'll all be the one brand. I'm just going to use the Born This Way Concealer. This is the shade Light. Um, so let's give this a go. I know this coverage isn't as much as shape tape that I usually use, so I'm just going to put a little bit extra on. Just going in then with a beauty blender, just to press it in. Oh, this concealer is nice. Oh. I was never really sure about this concealer, but... I like it. Like it's not as much coverage as Shape Tape, but it still gives you a nice bit of coverage. And it's a little bit creamier on the skin. I like know a Shape Tape can go a little bit matte and a little bit dry. Whereas this seems, I know I've only blended it in, but it seems nice. I like it. Oh, I like it. Ooh. You know what, I'm just going to set just underneath the eye first. Um, just because I don't know if this will crease on me. Because usually concealers tend to crease on me. So 
So I'm going to use the Peach Perfect Powder. So this is a loose powder, part of the collection. Like this. So it has like a little protector here. Um, and it smells great and it tastes good too. So this is like a translucent powder. There's no colour in it. Um, I don't think there has, there's much flashback with it. I haven't tested it myself but I was told that it's, um, it's good to use in pictures. You can bake with it and it doesn't flash. So any of you bakers out there, um, it should work. Okay, next up then we have the creamy, it says there, melting powder highlights. So they're like a cream. So we have a bronze, we have a highlight, and we have a blush. So I'm just going to start off with the, I love the fact that they're actually shaped like little peaches. Like, Too Faced packaging just fucking kills me. It's so cute. Like, look at this fridge. I know. Obviously, it's not a real fridge. This is what the products came in, in the PR packaging, like, out of this world, out of this world. But I had to keep it and I had to bring it home because it was just too good not to. So let's contour with this. I'm just gonna use a brush and that's. I know you can use your fingers with this, but I have nails on and it doesn't always go down too well. So I'm just gonna blend this out. I've never used this before, but, oh, I like. Oh, yes. It's like such a good color. It just gives you that perfect little hollow. I'm not 100% sure if these come in other shades, um, but anything that you need to know about this collection, I'm gonna leave everything in the description box. So if I don't mention anything or anything about the colors, I will link it all, everything will be below. But I, I really like that. It's so natural, but it just gives you that natural cheek bone. Ooh. You know what, I'm just gonna go right in with this. Just because it's quite, um, the colour's not too strong, it's that nice natural colour, so I can kind of just go in with the actual brush. And let's just go for a nice bronzy, bronzy, bronzy. Let's just get straight into eyes and then we can go back and finish the face. Okay, I just did my eyebrows really quickly. Um, they need to be plucked, so just, just ignore the rottedness that's kind of happening around the brow area. Let's just... Pretend that that's not there, okay? I'm just gonna use the Just Peachy Matte Palette. Um, I'm obsessed with this palette. It's kind of a bit messy because I've used it so much, but here are the colors. They're all matte. Um, so you have a range from like lightest to medium, medium to dark, you have these like warm tones. I'm just, it's just pretty much everything. Like anytime I travel now, this is gonna be in there. This is gonna be one of the palettes I'm gonna bring because the colors are amazing. They blend beautifully, everything is just, Perfection. So I'm going to start off with peach tea. I'm just going to go in to the crease and use this as our transition shade, like always. That brush I use is a Morphe M513, so it's a big fluffy. That's what I use first here for the transition shade. And now I'm gonna go, let's go in with Peach Cobbler, here. I'm gonna use a MAC 217 with this one. And we're just gonna focus more into the crease. So we're not gonna blow it out as much as we blew out the first shade. So we're just gonna start building these colors then to kind of get that nice gradient fade. gonna go in with peach punch which is the pinkier shade and we're gonna put this all over the lid and again just softly blending that out 
the brush I used for that, it's a, it's a Too Faced brush. There's, oh, there is a name. Is there all, all over shadow. It's just a small little flat brush, flat-ish brush that I used for that one. Ooh, I like this. I don't think I did these colors before on my channel. I know I did the sunset eye, but this is more pink. And now I'm gonna get some peach tart. This here, so it's a darker brown. And I'm gonna use a Zoeva 227 brush. This brush is very similar to a MAC 217. And I'm just gonna focus this on the outer sides. All right, yeah, let's just do it on the outer corner and just see what happens. Okay, I'm going to use some of the peach tart for the underneath, which is the dark brown. On just a little pencil brush, this is a Zoeva 230 brush. And I'm going to mainly focus this just on the outer, outer part of the eye, if that makes sense. Like, don't bring it in here. And then I'm going to get a little bit of peach cobbler and peach tea and just kind of do this. Mix with the tip of the brush then, just soften that out. Now in with Better Than Sex Mascara. So we're going to give our lashes a good coat of mascara now. So I just added some lashes on top. These are Belur lashes in the style stripped down. Um, just to kind of finish off the eye look. They might be a little bit too dramatic. But they're on now and that's just the way it's going to go. So let's finish off the skin. So this is the Sweetie Pie Radiant Bronzer. So let's just try this. I actually haven't tried this before. I kind of forgot about it. So let's try it now. Um, so this is how it looks. Which I'm unsure about the pink, but let's just kind of go with it. Oh, okay. Oh, I like it. So you can see that little bit of glow it's kind of bringing to the skin, as well as bronzing. Ooh. This is like, yes. Oh my god, yeah. I'm actually... I thought it was going to be like really pink or something because of the pink in this, but no. So I'm going to use the Happy Face Peach Frost Highlight. So it's like a cream, okay? So when you have it like this, it like feels creamy. But then when you like put it on, it like turns to a powder. It's very strange. But I really am into it. So I'm just going to get this on the brush. And, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use some blush. Peach, <laughs> peach my cheeks. So cute, the names. Okay, peach my cheeks. This is called Ginger Peach. It's quite bright, but I don't think it comes out as strong as that. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to use... I'm going to use the same brush, actually. And... Just like a really light motions. Just add that little pinch of colour. Oh, cute! I actually like it because the... the <coughs> excuse me, I like this because... The highlight is coming through that was on the brush. So you have that nice kind of glowy peach. So for their lipsticks, I only actually have three of their new lipsticks. Um, but look how cute the packaging is. They have like peaches imprinted on the lipstick. How cute. I'm just going to go for nude lips because, you know, that's what I do. So I'm just going to line really quickly. This is a NYX lip pencil. Now I'm going to use the colour Doll Face, which is this nude here. Such a good nude. I'm 
my god it just smells so good so the finish on these lipsticks is like a creamy matte as well um i don't know if it actually has a name of a finish i don't think it does but it's just like it's a creamy matte finish so no shine but comfortable on the lips um oh my god i almost forgot my favorite 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 product from the collection is the peach blur this is like filter in real life that's just how i'm going to describe it because that's what it is like it looks peach and shimmery but when you put it on it's not you can't see it it basically has these like blur it's like a blur effect so basically when you put it over the skin it blurs any texture and it just gives you that really smooth 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 skin amazing so i'm just gonna finish off with this like oh i literally since i've got this i this has been the one that i like throw my handbag all the time and i bring it with me everywhere just to like kind of give you a little going over you know if you're out somewhere but oh my god it's so good And then just to finish it off, this is the Peach Mist, so it's a matte fine setting spray. Um, I don't think I've actually used this. I think I used this once on the day when I was um, at the Too Faced headquarters, but usually I don't tend to use a lot of matte fine sprays. I usually use the opposite. I usually go dewy, but let's just do it for this tutorial because I want to do the full collection. So you have to give this a good, 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 good shake to make sure everything's mixed in the bottle. So now I'm just going to squirt like couple of squirts two or three squirts oh my god it smells so good and as i said like even though this is like a matte fine like a more of a matte fine collection it's a comfortable matte like my skin's very dry and i don't usually tend to go the matte fine route but right now my skin feels normal it doesn't feel dry and um, even though it is on the matter side but it's still not like you know that horrible matte when it's like powder it's like dry you can see it like it's not like that it's still really fresh um so that's why i really like this foundation and really like this collection because it holds in place and stays down and the foundation does last i have worn it a few times as i've said um and it does stay on does last so yeah always a winner so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed seeing the collection. Let me know what your favourite products are, if you've used the collection or what you've seen. If you have any questions, let me know. As I said, I'm going to link everything below. So yeah, I have to say my favourite products from this collection will be the lipsticks, the blur and um, blur powder, the eyeshadow palette and the foundation. They're probably my favourites, even though I love like all the collection they would be my favorites anyway i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel then don't forget to hit subscribe and i'll see you in my next video